Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for Actuator Linearization. In this tutorial, we will review the steps for making Actuator 1 and Actuator 2 output linearization adjustments from the service menu. It is important to understand the actuator linearization service options so you can adjust the actuator curves properly for your unit. Depending upon your particular configuration, either one or both of the high pressure valves will be available for configuration. This includes HPV1 and HP2V1B. Before a user can make any changes to the actuator settings, the user level must be set to either the service or configure user level. For more information on how to log in to different user levels, please refer to the Changing User Levels tutorial. After you have logged in to one of these two user levels, press Home to return to the main screen. To make Actuator 1 and Actuator 2 output linearization adjustments, on the Home screen, press the black function key below Service. On the Service menu screen, use the Navigation Cross Keys to highlight Actuator Linearization, and then press Enter to select it. In this demonstration, the HPV1 Linearization screen is displayed. If your 505 is configured to use both actuators, you can press the black function key below the right arrow to navigate to the HP2V1B Linearization screen. The X values represent the percentage input linearization curve. This comes from the Low Signal Select, or LSS, demand. The Y values represent the percentage output linearization curve. This is the HP valve demand. The graph on the right side of the screen is a visual representation of the valve curve. Before you change any of the values in the X values or Y values columns, be aware that the values must increase from row 1 through row 11 for each value in each respective column. For example, the values in X2 and Y2 must be greater than the values in X1 and Y1. The controller will not accept values that do not adhere to this rule. To replace the current X or Y value in any of the boxes on the screen, use the navigation cross keys to highlight the desired box. Next, either press Enter to select that number, and then use the numeric keypad to replace it with the desired number. But be aware that the value cannot differ by more than 10% of the current value. And then, press Enter again to confirm the change. Or, press the Adjust Up or Adjust Down key as many times as necessary to increase or decrease the number in the highlighted box until the desired number is reached. Note that by pressing and holding the up arrow key, which is the shift key, while pressing the adjust up or adjust down key, the values within the box will change more rapidly. After you have made all desired actuator linearization changes, press the black function key below exit. Press the black function key below save settings. Press home to return to the main screen. You now know the basics of making Actuator 1 and Actuator 2 output linearization adjustments. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.